Full swing is crap. That is a big statement. I, I, I know, right? Okay, so get down in the comments. Have you watched Full Swing? And essentially, what is your opinion on it? Because I definitely think it has the golfing community split right down the middle. Yes, and I'd, I'd agree with that. I think you've got a mix of young golfers and you've got a mix of older, more traditionalist golfers yeah. that have this have this split okay so i'm gonna put this point across so this is coming from i do agree with this a little bit i have to say this is coming from a few of the golfers that i teach okay so their words were i watched the first two episodes and i don't want to watch it again it was all about money it yeah. didn't paint the integrity and the history of the game okay it was following players not the tour now i know it's individual sport i didn't quite get that one but I do, I do it i do it in some degree and also um it really painted some players in bad light and i'm gonna name a few now it painted just jordan spieth and justin thomas as sport brats who fly private jets everywhere yeah because that, that was like something like 40 minutes yeah. to oh, play around yeah. let's, let's roll oh. the ball for hundred dollars i mean okay it's pretty cool but it's a bit yeah, I know what you mean. yeah. um brooks kapka moaning picking up eight hundred fifty six thousand. um <laughs> I Ian, didn't actually Ian, look at it like this. Ian, Ian Poulter flying a private jet and having a putting comp. Yeah, totally not the pram. It literally, I mean, if you look at it this way, it was like an, an advert for a private jet and millionaire lifestyle. Yeah. Now, on the flip side of that, they said their favourite episodes were Matt Fitzpatrick and Joel Damon. Yeah. Okay, so come on, hit me with a counter here because I honestly, I, I get it. I mean, I honestly think it, it wouldn't, it, depending on your age... And depending whether you like golf for the money or like golf for the history, you split on it. Yeah, you are. Now, my counter debate to that would be, this is bringing in a new golfer. Mm. This is, people are going to look at this and think, wow, what a lifestyle they have. Like, it's amazing. I'd love to be able to do that. And it's going to get people into the game of golf. Yeah, I think with regards to it following golfers rather than following the tour it's hard yeah how do you counteract that? that because it's an individual sport it's an individual sport however what i would say is this year especially if they continue to do it you could do that but you just do the elevated events because they're guaranteeing that those players are going to be at those events yeah, however but... last year you can't guarantee that the players are going to be at the events so there they might want to focus around 10 players but mm. if they're not guaranteed to be at an event you, you don't know who you can get content off. You don't know what, how it's going to work. Fair point, fair point. Yeah. But arguably, why, why did they follow the best players? Because you know, some of the better episodes have been with... I mean, no one knew Matt Fitzpatrick was going to win. They started filming that before he won. Yes. Right, okay. So the argument here is some of the better episodes... And I've said this from the start. The better episodes to me were Joel Damon, Matt Fitzpatrick, and the one with... Tony Fina. Uh, no, well, yeah, that was good. But I mean, uh, the, the two rookies... Um, Mito Pereira and uh, Sahid Thigala. Yes. Yeah. I, was gonna, I, 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 Thigala was literally on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. Like, they were the best episodes. And for me, that paints the, the how hard golf is, not the millionaire lifestyle. Because that millionaire lifestyle is literally for the top 20. It is, but, but that's what people want to see. That's what... And not being funny. So you're saying that just because they post the amount, amount of money yeah. and the millionaire lifestyle, that's going to get the likes of like people like a little bit younger than us. Yeah. Liking it, going bloody hell! Look at that, mate. We we've we've said about and and we've had the YouTube boxing and things like that, and it's another route into sport. It's another route into the game. So here we go. Golfers, younger golfers are going to look at it and think, "I can earn millions. Money makes the world go round." Okay, so here you go. Here's a question for you, and please do get down in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're listening to this on the podcast. Remember, guys, this is available uh, to listen to as well. So you're saying, right, when we're sat here in 10 years' time in a yes. bigger studio... Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, <laughs> that we could be talking about a person that got into the game of golf after watching Full Swing and that was their route into the game. I don't see why not. Well, if that if the answer to that not. question is yes, surely it's the best thing. But can you can you agree with what the the why some people don't think it's well, think it's a bit crap? I yes, I agree. I can see people's opinion on it, and I can see why people have now got lesser opinion, lesser thoughts of players such as Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth. I really think they got painted in a bad light, by the way. Yeah, they did. 
but I think I don't think obviously Full Swing wasn't trying to do that. Full Swing was trying to give you a broad range of look. These are two guys that have known each other since their kids. I don't think it did. I don't think it did give it a broad range. <laughs> no, but look, the two guys that have known each other since the kids are still good mates. Play on tour together. Yeah, okay, they live this lavish lifestyle. You've then got Sahith Gala, who is a rookie, a, a rookie, uh, an eth- ethnic minority from from that background, who is doing it, who is playing on tour. You've got Mito Pereira, who's mates with Wacky Neiman, who played with him as a kid, but he's excelled. And then, Mito, do you know what I mean? You've got a bit of everything. You've got the family man in Tony Fee now, and then you've got the big dogs in Scheffler, Ram, Morikawa, yeah. not Ram, sorry, Morikawa, um, McElroy. Yeah, they try I mean, to get everything into into eight episodes, yeah, nine episodes. I get it. With things like this, you're always going to want to follow the biggest players yep. on the biggest stage because that's what's going to draw in the crowds. Yep. But how I think they should have done it better, and this Netflix, reach out to me if you want. <laughs> reach out to us. <laughs> if you want idea, it'll cost you. I, I think <laughs> they should have gone right, okay, like you just said. We're going to pick four elevator events this year. Yeah. We're also going to pick eight other events. And we're just going to go and film at those other events. We're going to go... Um, okay, boom. Joachim Neiman, we're using you this week. I yeah. know he's on to live tour, but just an example. Yeah. And we're going to follow you all week. Whether you do good or bad, we're just going to follow you. We're going to follow four different players every single event. We're going to pick two big players, two lesser players than somebody might have heard of, because that's going to seriously help their career anyway in terms of sponsorship, in terms yeah. of PR, in terms of getting following, because that makes the world go round in terms of sponsorship. And I think that would be the best way, saying, right, okay, guys, you don't know if you're going to be picked. Sign up here if you want to be included. Like... We're going to pick two bigger players inside the top 50, two other players outside. We're going to be at these 12 events and we're going to film you every single move for the entirety of that week. Yeah. What I think. That's how I thought it was going to be, by the way. Well, and we both love the Formula One season. What makes it easy for Formula One season is everyone goes everywhere. Everyone goes everywhere. They're all, it's a moving train. They all go together. But that's just, that, that's the premises they've got to deal with. That, yeah, that's, but, that's, that, that's but what now, it is. now, with the elevator events, they can do that. Because yeah, they know saying, that the person can do Don't just choose there. elevator events. Yeah, but, so they're going to cover the majors, as they did. They're going to yeah. do that. And then they they can guarantee more players are going to be at those events. So they might not, might not choose Ram, Scheffler, Morikawa every week. But Joel Damon's still going to be there. I get what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. That's going to make it easier. So maybe if they do another season, it's going to be even better. I, I definitely think they can look back and improve upon it. But guys, let us know what you think. And like we say, if you are listening to this on YouTube and the podcast, do follow, do subscribe. And we look forward to uh, opening up some of these debates another time.